Hey, what's going on everybody? I just want to do a quick update. A lot of people have been messaging me asking me when I'm going to continue on with my uh, with my knife making series. And I do intend to continue making videos and posting them on here for you guys to watch. Right now I'm kind of on a little tight on funds and I am in need of some abrasives uh, which is a big expense in knife making. If you're thinking about venturing into making knives you're going to spend a lot of money on abrasives and right now I just don't have the funds to purchase any so as soon as I do you'll be the first to know and I'll be back making some uh, more knife making videos in the future uh, for now however I'm going to go ahead and pan you guys down here and show you what I've got uh, in progress and uh, where I'm kind of stuck for right now so let's take a look alright so as you guys can see I've got quite a few uh, blade blanks here uh, they still have not been heat treated uh, actually the only one here that has been heat treated would be this guy here and uh, haven't really shared this one with you but it's got a full flat grind on it it's not quite finished yet because uh, like I said I ran out of abrasives and I need to get some more uh, belts so I can finish that uh, I've got five of my uh, AEBL stainless steel camp knives right here as you can see just a small four and a was that four and a quarter inch blade five no four and a half inch blade that's it it's four and a half inch blade on it so not a huge camp knife just a small mid-size kind of camp knife uh, I've got a couple things also here this is some 52 100 quarter inch thick. It's a big old heavy boy right here. Uh, big old heavy knife. Warncliffe design. Thinking about doing a tapered tang on it. I just don't have the abrasives to uh, do that at the moment. Also got another larger style kind of camp knife or survival knife if you want to call it that. Um, I can't remember the exact length of this anymore. I'll have to measure it but uh, this is also in quarter inch AEBL, or not AEBL, but 52-100 rather. So pretty excited about that guy. I've never really worked with such a thick bar stock before. And then I've got this little miniature knife. It's kind of like the camp knife, only it's kind of its mini-me. And uh, look, looks pretty good. I'm excited about this little guy. The ergonomics on this are just outstanding. I worked really hard to get the ergonomics on this just right. So you got your three fingers in this kind of part of the blade and then your pinky. So you got this little flat part right here to wrap the pinky around. And ergonomically this thing's a dream. So I've got a lot going on. You know I've got this gear that's finished now. Put an edge on it. It's ridiculously sharp. I don't have anything right. Well let's see. Here's a piece of paper to kind of show, I mean, you know, it, it's sharp. Uh, I need to make a sheath for this go, but I don't have the screws that I need. I use Chicago screws on my Kydex sheaths, and I need some Chicago screws for that. So yeah, I'm just kind of at a standstill right now, but uh, anyway, I do plan on getting back out into the shop here and working on these just as soon as I can get some materials in. So that's everything. I really appreciate you guys watching this. I hope that was good enough, good enough view of everything. I won't know until I watch the footage back, uh, but my lighting in here is just awful. I, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please go down and give me a thumbs up, give me a like. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe as well, and I'll be back with more videos soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.